often have Jeep vehicles come into our shop with a similar complaint, a wobble or shimmy from the front end. At Saul's Automotive, we've learned to call this death wobble, an aptly named title because of the scary feeling it can give the driver when it happens. An oscillation of the front of the vehicle will occur, shaking the tires side to side from a multitude of issues that are possible. When this happens, the vehicle will physically lift side to side in the front of the suspension and feel as if the front end will physically lift in the air. If this happens to your vehicle, do not slam on the brakes. Gently let off the gas as if you were in a skid, let the vehicle gently slow down on its own, and it will mellow back out. When you hit the brakes, all of the weight shifting and inertia shifting to the front can actually exacerbate the problem and make it occur worse. So we're going to take a quick look at how and why this happens and how we can prevent it. From the factory, all Jeep vehicles are steered with four joints across the front end, known as tie rod ends. From the basic, right at the attachment of the pitman arm, steering directly under the driver's side of the vehicle, this is where your steering wheel is attaching to directly above. This joint pulls on the passenger side wheel, where there is a tie rod end as well, and then what we call a wheel-to-wheel, -wheel or a drag link. A center rod with a tie rod end joint on each end of it to allow pulling the driver's tire back and forth with the steering. When you sit in the driver's seat and you steer the vehicle, this arm physically rotates side to side to steer the front of the vehicle. If just one of these four joints has play in it, the joint itself, which acts like a ball and socket, instead of pivoting smoothly, can rock within its joint. This small amount of motion will oscillate and shake the entire length of the rod. So if one joint, typically at the pitman arm or at the passenger knuckle, begins to fail, it will shake side to side. When this happens, the lateral motion of the axle will start to move. There's only one steering component that holds the axle centered in the vehicle. If you're going across the back of the axle, the track bar centers the axle under the vehicle. Every time you turn your steering wheel side to side, you are leveraging this rod holding this axle centered under your vehicle with literally thousands of pounds of force. When just one of these joints starts to play and shake the steering side to side, this track bar now has double the workload and is being shaken side to side faster and faster. As soon as this happens and this oscillation begins, it rapidly decreases the lifespan of the other three remaining joints. Normally, a driver physically cannot feel play in the wheel until three or four of these tie rod end joints have failed. At that point, you may feel as the driver a small amount of play in your steering wheel. That's all. You won't feel anything scary or out of the ordinary. It may feel like grandpa's old truck. And then one day, you'll hit a crack or expansion joint in the pavement, and the suspension will oscillate just enough to shake that axle side to side and create what we call death wobble. We ask drivers if you feel any difference in your steering at all, please bring your vehicle in for a free check. Replacing these tie rod ends is very inexpensive. One joint is less than $100 and is very basic maintenance routine to be replaced. However, more often than not, all four steering joints fail. And then the track bar from holding that leverage fails. At that point, death wobble begins. And at that point, all of the wearable steering components are worn out. Many drivers continue to operate the vehicle before bringing it in for service. When that happens, the joints on the axle themselves what we call the ball joint, where the entire knuckle pivots to steer the vehicle on both sides, will also begin to get play in their ball joint. When that happens, instead of just getting four tie rod ends, we end up destroying all four ball joints, all four tie rod ends, the track bar and its joint, and last but not least, the steering stabilizer, which helps to minimize the force going across. This dampens the effect of what you're feeling and is often considered a band-aid when repairing death wobble. 
We've even had vehicles come in where the damage was so bad that the oscillation of this rod moving side to side for so long wore out every piece and component in the front end that we've talked about and additionally damaged the teeth inside the steering gearbox so that when the driver was turning the steering wheel, the tires weren't even moving for an inch of motion in the steering wheel. The actual gear itself, where that pivots, had that much motion in the teeth from being so worn out from slapping against each other back and forth. If you feel any motion in the steering of your Jeep, please bring it in. There's never a cost to diagnose it, and we are experts at solving death wobble. We put a lifetime guarantee on any and all cures that we produce for Death Wobble to ensure your safety every time, all the time. Please give us a call. We can be reached seven days a week at 303-919-7769. Thank you.